What's up, everybody? My name is Scott Waters. Welcome to Life Till Metal. It's time for another edition of The Mail. The Mail. That's right. It's time for another edition of The Mail. And this edition of The Mail is brought to you by two cool cats from the vinyl community. Uh, the first being Classy Metal, or Classy Looney Metal, I believe is his channel name. I'll definitely put a link below. Uh, check on his channel. Classy Metal does focus on a lot of more extreme metal than you see on NoLifeToMetal.com. Uh, and he recently had a, um, a contest, um, and he showed a bunch of different things you could choose from if you won the contest. Uh, unfortunately, I did not win the contest, but regardless, he still sent me this, which is what I actually said I would want. Uh, this is Six Feet Under Death Rituals. Um, and if you've watched my channel for any length of time, you know that I'm not a huge death metal fan. I do like some of the older 90s stuff. I just kind of grew bored with it, frankly. It all started blending together and sounding the same to me. Um, but there's something very entertaining about Six Feet Under. Um, first of all, I think these guys are really metal fans in a metal band, and I think you can hear that in their sound. Uh, they mix up the tempos. There's a lot of classic metal sounding stuff in here. Even though it's very down-tuned, very low and guttural, uh, you definitely can hear that classic heavy metal sound. You can hear thrash riffs. Um, and I just really find this band entertaining. <laughs> and I love the covers that they do. They always pick these old classic metal covers. And even on here, there's a classic cover. They do, uh, they do Bastards from Motley Crue, um, death metal style. And then, of course, you've got lovely songs in here like uh, Death by Machete, which is obviously, you know, a song about more machete laws um, to keep people from killing others with machetes. Uh, you've got Ten Deadly Plagues, which of course is, um, you know, disease awareness kind of song. And then you've got, uh, what else you got? Murder Addiction, which is about killing off the addictions in your life, so, you know, so that you're not uh, um, killing yourself with cigarettes and, you know, that kind of thing. Um, <laughs> it's, seriously, it's, it's exactly what you expect from Six Feet Under. It's all, you know, gloom, doom, and, uh, and gore. Um, but, honestly, you can't understand a word of it anyhow because Chris Barnes is either doing the high-pitched pig squeals or the very low, low, guttural, heavy vocals that he's known for. And uh, that's what I like about him anyhow. He's very unique, um, even though he's a death metal growler. Um, sometimes he reminds me of, uh, of Lurch. From the, the uh, monster, not the monsters, from the Adams family. Uh, if Lurch was to join a death metal band, it would be six feet under. <laughs> so that's anyhow very cool. Check out his channel, Classy Metal. Uh, this next one um, came from uh, Josh, and uh, again, I, I already pre-opened it because I didn't realize that it was a. Uh, a a package from a member, a VC member, uh, otherwise I would have opened it on camera. But this is from Josh. Josh had a channel, uh, which I wrote down somewhere on here. Um, da -da -da -da, where to go here? I don't know. I wrote it down. Oh, here it is. HGVOSS was his former channel, and all of a sudden it was gone. Um, and he was gone, um, which is odd, but not, you know, strange. Sometimes people take their channels down for various reasons. Uh, then he reappeared as J-O-V-O-X. J-O-V-O-X. Uh, so that is his new channel, and he did put some of his old videos back on that new channel, um, and he did send me this package. Um, so what do we have here? Um, a t-shirt, which is a greetings from Bavaria. Uh, according to this, Bavarian slang, some kind of mix of German and many other languages. The text means everything is alright or everything runs smoothly. So there you go. So he sent me this cool t-shirt. Ois is easy. I think that's what it says. Um, so that's kind of neat. Um, very interesting. A black t-shirt is something I always wear. Um, and then he sent me a CD, which I did not pull out yet. It's actually still in the packaging here. Um, so that would be somewhat of a surprise. Is it still sealed? This is uh, Altaria Unholy. And I am unfamiliar with this band. I am assuming it's going to be some sort of metal band from the look on the front of it. Probably a local band from his area. Um, can only assume that as well. And I will definitely check this out. Um, and then finally, um, what I knew he was sending because he said he, they were all over there. Um, not here. This is uh, Wolf Devil Seed. One of the new wave of traditional heavy metal bands that I really love. These guys have several albums, not seven or eight albums. Um, and this album is fantastic. Um, I, got, I bought the CD last year, showed it in an uh, edition of What's Spinning Not Too Long Ago, and I, I'm, I was just spinning it over and over. It's just a great record from them. Um, this version is actually a little different than that CD version, um, but it also comes with a CD as well, as you can see. And it is on a... And if I can get it out of the little sleeve here. It's on a red vinyl.
and got custom center rings. And there is also a insert sleeve which looks like this. So there you go. Um, again, check out both channels. Very much appreciated uh, both those gifts. And uh, maybe you guys know who Altaria is. Um, let me know about them. Um, let me know what you think about Six Feet Under. Uh, you know, a lot of you guys I know on my channel are more into the classic metal and thrash metal and, and the hard rock stuff. So let me know what you think of that band and also what you think of Wolf. So uh, that's it. Appreciate y'all watching. God bless. Stay strong.